Okay, gentlemen, ladies, I wanted to show you this heat exchanger uh, bonnet. Uh, actually, it's a duplex lined vessel, 310 stainless, carbon steel external. Notice that the uh, center baffle support has got stays and braces. It's not real, real common to to see bracing so big. This one's been repaired multiple times and then was retired as uh, the cladding had worn down to its thickness. Notice all these little circles and ovals. All those are little rosette or attachment welds for a replacement liner. The original one, if you look over here on the, on the head, it doesn't have any of those. That was explosion clad when it was originally built and then it's had a replacement liner installed in here. As the, uh, as the liner has worn out, they've replaced it um, on top of the explosion clad. Replaced it in the nozzles. It wore down to the point where they just went ahead and retired the whole piece of equipment kind of unusual to see wear marks you know these are these are a combination of both corrosion and erosion that let me see if we can see that real well get down here move that gasket if you notice you can actually see in the topography between the base metal and the the rosette weld and the the weld zone area on the long seam has been eroded and corroded preferentially. You know, we're missing a complete pass right there. You, know, you see here on the edge where it had some weld metal repair right here at the gasket ceiling surface in the adjacent area that the, that the weld has got these really, really tight um, pinhole style pock marks you know where the corrosion is attacking the actual base metal itself but in really really small tight 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 spots anyway uh, you know kind of an unusual thing to see especially for a piece of equipment this big thought you guys might be interested in seeing it thanks for coming along talk to you later bye